Hello, everybody, and welcome to Gene's Reviews. Reviews from a regular dude. Where I do trailer reactions, I react to YouTube videos, I review YouTube channels, occasionally I'll review a movie, but really, I just do whatever the hell I want. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Gene's Reviews. Reviews from a regular dude down in the basement. We're doing one from the 401 files. I believe that's what it's called. It's the 401 files, maybe the 411. I think it's the 401. We'll, we'll see here in a minute. It's called Lizard People Are Real. David Icke was right. Let's check this out. 401 files. Hi guys, welcome back to the 401 Files. My name is Ben and I create content here on the 401 Files with everything that you could possibly consider to be thought provoking. Now have I got some disturbing footage for you guys. If this is genuine, if this is real, yeah. this is an amazing piece of footage that does confirm the Anunnaki are real, reptilians are living here amongst us, the skies, the humans. Just to give you guys a bit of a rundown on this video, a bit of an insight as to why we're here, who these people are and what they're talking about, here we have two Russian hosts, Zana and Nicole. Now from what I've gathered, Zana and Nicole are ahead of some kind of religious movement and they're sat here at this table basically giving people well wishes heading into the new year, which was 2020 at the time. It was at that time when people watching this video, watching these well wishes from Zana and Nicole, realised that Something wasn't right with Zana's eyes. You guys take a look and let me know what you think. Greetings, dear friends. Greetings, friends. Okay, the holidays, so Christmas and New Year are coming soon. And I would like one. to share with you my understanding that a holiday is actually what is inside you. Because each of us, we can generate this feeling inside us ourselves. Because when we go to a celebration with our friends or family, then, regardless of what is happening, it is this feeling inside that gives us the holiday feeling. And so, I understand one thing, a very important one. I've just realized that when you really start living by the spiritual world, you understand that your holiday can... Okay, something happened there. I don't know if that was put in or what, but something happened there. Watch that. Watch her left no, her right eye. Living by the spiritual world. Right there. You understand that your holiday can be every day and every moment. When every moment you are in anticipation of new feelings from the spiritual world. Because you always live in contact with it. And that's why I'd like to tell you to try to really feel this inside. And to live like this every day in the new year. Because the most important thing is to really understand that when you live by the spiritual world, every day you experience completely different feelings, and every day is a holiday for you. Therefore, friends, let's live in happiness, and so we will all begin to live happier than usual, and thus everything will change. And since I'm with Jana today, I would also like to ask her what she would like to wish you. What would you wish our friends? I join your wishes because I understand through feelings that you have wished them the spiritual, love, happiness, and all that is really worth wishing everyone on New Year's Eve. And first of all, I would like to wish our viewers now to feel their true nature and aspire precisely to their primary source to the development of their souls and to understand what the most important thing in our lives is. What for we have come to... There it was again. Did you see it? They're lizard people. They're among us, man. Let's go back. Watch her right eye, her left eye this time. Thing in our lives is what right for we have come to this world in Proof. general. Not only on New Year's Eve, but basically every Couldn't day have been put in to afterwards. activate this Proof. inner love and to come home, to return to God. That's why I wish your every day to be filled with love, with love for God, with true feelings and with the truth. They I will say this. If it is true, that's scary as hell. Now, if her tongue shoots out... Thank you very much. And of course, Happy New Year. 
Happy New Year, dear friends. Thank you very much. Thank you. Again, guys, like I said, I don't know whether this is real or fake, but it's impressive regardless. And yeah, it's what I found cool. really strange about this was that down in the comments box, usually on videos like this, you see a lot of people with hate saying, oh my God, it's the tinfoil hat brigade, etc., etc." But what I found on this video was that people down in the comments box were equally as freaked out as I was. Now the video in its entirety was two minutes and 45 seconds long. Now I know that a lot of you guys won't want to sit and watch the full duration but I just thought I would add that in there anyway just in case any of you did. Now I have taken timestamps for anybody that wants to skip straight to these strange reptilian blinks and the first one happens at 36 seconds in, the second blink is at 2 minutes 8 seconds and the third blink is at 2 minutes 38 seconds. So if you guys do want to go back to the video to the timestamps you'll see exactly what everybody else saw. But just in case you missed it, let's take another look. Yeah that's freaky, that is weird. Now call me a geek, but I went back and did some counting. And in a video that only lasted 2 minute 45 seconds, how many times do you think Zana blinked? 123 times. And that's only the times that we could see her on screen. Remember when her friend Nicole was talking, Zana was probably still there blinking away. So that number is probably still even higher yet. Now on the face of it, that might not seem that odd. Because some people do have strong impulses to keep mm -hmm. blinking a hell of a lot. But the average person blinks about 12 times per minute. 12 times 3, which is roughly the same length of this video, would be 36. So roughly the average person during the length of this video would be blinking 36 times. But Zyna blinked 123 times. 123! Now you might think, well, this was edited. This was edited during this conversation with Nicole for whatever reason. I want to see some other interviews. Well, here you go. Now, I'm really not sure what to make of this. If you were sitting across from someone and their eye did that, I think I'd need to change my shorts for sure. Video, And I really don't want to commit to saying, yes, this is real or no, this is fake. All I want to commit to right now is just saying that this is absolutely fascinating it's and fascinating. I really did enjoy it. I don't know if it's real either. I hope that you guys did too. Please do so, comment but... below. Let me know what you guys think. Like I said, the comments on this video when I originally found it were all very positive and in support of this being real. You guys let me know what you think. It's been a pleasure to be back with you all. Hope you're all doing well wherever you are in the world. Stay safe, take it easy, look at yourselves and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, that was the 401 files. Lizard people are real. David Icke was right. I don't want to believe it's real. So I don't I don't really think it is. I think it was put in somehow. But I'm not saying it couldn't be real. I don't know. Nobody knows. How about a joke? The broccoli says, I look like a small tree. The mushroom says, I look like an umbrella. The walnut says, I look like a brain. And the banana says, can we please change the subject? Thank you, everybody. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hashtag mean gene, all that fun stuff. And if you like this video, tell all your friends, leave a comment down below. And if you didn't like it, then just shut up. And I will see you next time.